poetry must surprise by virtue, which is good and not by singularity, it must strike as words, of his own supreme thought, and almost emerges as a memory. Poetry must be great and unobtrusive, something that enters the soul of a person, and neither surprises him, nor amazes him with himself, but with his subject. Poetry must, must strike the reader, as the words of his own supreme thought, and appear almost as a memory. Although street fights are, things to hate, the energy displayed in them is fine, the one most used to show, grace in his fights. The public, something I cannot escape as an enemy, and which I cannot overcome without feelings of hostility. Don't you see how important it is in this world, full of suffering and hardship, to educate the intellect and make it into a soul? There is an electric fire in human nature, which tends to purify, so that among creatures this man is constantly being born new heroes. Too bad we have to wander about that as we should, to find pearls in the trash. I love you more, because I'm sure you like me, for myself and no one else. Something beautiful is happiness forever, its beauty increases, it will never, enter into nothingness. Now a gentle kiss, yes, with that kiss, I swear, for endless happiness. The virtue of every art is its intensity, it is capable of making all that is unpleasant. The melodies that sound sweet are sweet, but those that don't sound sweeter. I'll give you the definition of a proud man. He is a man who neither pride nor wisdom filled with hatred can be vain, nor can he be wise. I was astonished that humans could die, as a martyr for religion, I shudder at it. I don't shudder anymore, I can be martyred for my religion, love is my religion, I can die for it. With a great poet. The sense of beauty overcomes every other consideration, or rather obliterates all consideration. Praise or reproach has only a momentary effect on the man whose love of abstract beauty makes him a vehement critic of his own works. It seems to me that, almost everyone probably likes the spider spinning from his own into his roomy fortress. The only way to strengthen one's intellect is, by making decisions about nothing, to let thought be the way for all thoughts. I have two lots. I have two luxuries to contemplate on my journey, your beauty and the hour of my death dot so that I may have both at the same time. Land and sea. Weakness and setbacks are great separations, but death is a great separation forever.